CD56 is a marker of natural killer cells and is expressed in a subset of malignant mesotheliomas. CD56 positive malignant mesothelioma is an aggressive subtype that is associated with the poor prognosis. There is an ongoing effort to develop targeted therapies for this difficult to treat disease. Aurora kinases are attractive therapeutic targets in several cancers due to their important roles in mitosis and cell division. Several aurora kinase inhibitors have been investigated in clinical trials for mesothelioma, including CD56 positive disease. Alicertib is a selective small molecule inhibitor of aurora kinase that has shown preclinical activity against mesothelioma cell lines. A phase half clinical trial evaluated alicertib in patients with advanced solid tumors including malignant pleural mesothelioma and CT01646578. In the phase 2 portion of the study, 18 patients with previously treated malignant pleural mesothelioma received alicertib 50 mg orally twice weekly. The study reported a disease control rate, complete response plus partial response plus stable disease of 44% in mesothelioma patients, with one partial response achieved. Median progression-free survival was 4 months. The trial demonstrated that alicertib is well tolerated and has clinical activity in mesothelioma, though CD56 status was not reported. Another aurora kinase inhibitor, Banuzertib, has been evaluated in a phase 2 clinical trial specifically targeting CD56 positive malignant mesothelioma and CTO2102490. In this single arm study, 21 patients with CD56 positive mesothelioma received Danuzertib 750 mg orally once daily on a continuous 28 day cycle. While the primary endpoint of 6-month progression-free survival rate was not met at 46.2%, encouraging anti-tumor activity was observed. The overall response rate was 9.5% and disease control rate was 57.1%. Median overall survival was 12.7 months, which compares favorably to historical controls. Danuzertib treatment was generally safe and well tolerated. Biomarker analysis found a correlation between aurora kinase expression and clinical benefit from danuzertib therapy in mesothelioma patients. This study provided a proof of concept that inhibition of aurora kinases can have anti-tumor activity specifically in CD56 positive mesothelioma. Building on these encouraging early results, Danuzertib is currently being further evaluated in a global phase 2 clinical trial specifically for CD56 positive malignant pleural mesothelioma and CT04289840. The multicenter single arm trial will enroll approximately 70 mesothelioma patients whose tumors express CD56 by immunohistyl chemistry. All participants will receive Danuzertib 900 mg administered orally once daily continuously in 28-day cycles, until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity occurs. The primary endpoint is 6-month progression-free survival rate. Additional objectives include assessment of overall response rate, duration of response, progression-free survival, overall survival, and safety. Tolerability of Danuzertib administration. Pharmacokinetic and translational studies are also incorporated. This ongoing study aims to confirm the efficacy and safety profile of Danuzertib in this molecularly defined mesothelioma subtype. Other aurora kinase inhibitors are also under investigation for mesothelioma, including Baricertib, Inicidentib, and Xanthoxlum. For example, a phase 2 clinical trial evaluated baricertib combined with permetraxed, cisplatin chemotherapy versus permetraxed, cisplatin alone in previously untreated malignant pleural mesothelioma patients, and CTO2450539. However, this study was terminated early due to slow accrual. Additional combinations of aurora kinase inhibitors with immune checkpoint blockade agents hold promise based on preclinical data, and such combination trials are ongoing or planned for mesothelioma and other solid tumors. Some of these emerging studies incorporate analyses of CD56 status to determine predictive biomarkers.
several orokinase inhibitors have shown initial signs of clinical activity against malignant mesothelioma, including the more aggressive CD56 positive subtype. Danuzertib in particular has demonstrated promising efficacy in tolerability targeting CD56 positive disease in phase 2 trials. Ongoing and future studies will aim to validate these findings, better define the role of aurora kinase inhibition, and explore rational combination regimens that could lead to improved outcomes for patients with this currently difficult to treat disease. Inhibition of aurora kinases represents an attractive therapeutic approach for CD56 positive mesothelioma, though additional clinical investigation is still needed.